What's up YouTube, Anthelon Tech here, and I thought it'd be fun to do a video of looking at memes of the new Nintendo Switch OLED model. Uh, I've been going through Reddit, and I've seen a lot of memes all over Reddit about the new OLED Switch. So I have some of these memes up here on my computer. I'm gonna go through them and read them to you and show you them. I think it's funny. To me, it's funny. So let's start with this one. It's uh, kind of joking on the whole Switch Pro thing. And it's a uh, caption, it's the picture of the OLED model when it says, it's real, you can shut the fuck up now. <laughs> it's funny to me because um, this is basically our Switch Pro. That's, uh, as far as we know, this is our Switch Pro. This is it. We're not, as far as we know, we're not going to get a 4K Switch because a new Switch sequel would probably release within the next two years, maybe. So we're probably not going to get a Switch Pro. This is basically what we're getting. So I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, this one is from the actual uh, trailer of the OLED model, and I thought it was also hilarious. It's, uh, I love when my wife's boyfriend lets me play OLED Switch in the downstairs hallway. And it's funny because in the trailer, um, the guy gets home and he drops his bag on the floor and he just drops to the floor in his hallway playing Pokemon. And it's like, bro, go get a chair or something. Like, you just drop in the middle of the hallway to play Pokemon. It's the funniest thing. It's one of the funniest things out there, I think. I think it's hilarious. This one is uh, Witcher 3 on Switch and then Witcher 3 on OLED Switch. Um, what, I think, what I think is funny about this is how exaggerated it is. Like Witcher 3 really doesn't look that terrible on Switch. For what it was able to look like on the Switch, it's really not terrible. It's actually a pretty good port of the game because the game looks okay on you know standard consoles and it looks pretty great on um you know the pro models and the other newer consoles so on switch it it looks fine on switch it's okay it's not this bad it looks fine uh this one says i cannot play animal crossing at my dad's funeral uninterrupted without the console falling down from a flimsy stand awesome um this one's kind of dark um you know one of the things about the switch oled that people are talking about is all these new upgrades are only for pe people who play handheld or tabletop mode um, I haven't met a single person who plays tabletop mode. Um, you know, I've never met anyone who actually plays tabletop with a friend for co-op. They usually have a TV with them because they're usually playing at home. Um, maybe my friends just don't go outside as much as I want them to or as much as they should to play games in tabletop mode outside. But I, I don't play tabletop. I don't play handheld that often. If I do play handheld, I have a Switch Lite to do that because I take that with me. That's my outside Switch because it is my primary if you don't know your primary camp, your secondary can't be used without internet. So my red Mars switch stays home and my switch light is outside. That's my handheld switch. So it's pretty hilarious uh, that, that that's what all the upgrades are for. This one, Nintendo Switch OLED, is from The Simpsons, Malibu Stacy with a new hat. Uh, funny because it's, it's, it's just a newer screen. That's all it really is for the new switch, a newer screen, new kickstand. That's really about it. The extra internal, the double internal memory space. You're really not going to notice it if you use SD cards, which you most likely use an SD card if you have a Switch. So it's just, this one was just weird. The Nintendo Switch OLED screen, it was just a weird, something funny I found through in there. Um, this one, I actually like. Uh, Joy Cons that don't drift, Nintendo's like, nah. But an <laughs> OLED Switch, they're like, yeah, we're going to do it. <laughs> Uh, this one, Switch OLED, <laughs> and it's like, for docked users, this is worthless. Yes, again, if you play docked, <laughs> the new Switch is worthless to you, I'm sorry. Um, I heard the argument that you would have the Ethernet port on the new Switch dock. Just buy an adapter, the Nintendo adapter one you can find on Amazon for like 30 bucks. It works either way, it's fine, just use that. Um, and it was actually funny, I actually did think a while back that if they're gonna do a 4K switch, and if the resolution is primarily dependent on the dock, they could have just sold a new dock on its own for cheaper for those who want to keep their switch but just want it to play 4K. But that's not the hero there, that's not really the technology they're working with. But this one is actually kind of hilarious too, because the PS Vita came out back in 2013, I believe, and it says Switch OLED, OLED screen, paid online, no folders, no themes, doesn't have gravity rush. PS Vita. All that screen, free online, folders, themes, has Gravity Rush. Um, I never played Gravity Rush, but I was actually talking about this with a friend of mine on our podcast, Three Amigos Podcast, check it out. And he mentioned, my friend mentioned to me that the PS Vita did have an OLED screen and it came out like eight years ago. So Nintendo, you're, you're falling behind heavily. You need to pick up the pace. 
pick up the Pace Nintendo. Uh, this one isn't so much a meme for um, the OLED model, just a message from Shigeru Miyamoto, which is uh, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is still $60. And it's actually a pretty smart quote, if you ask me, because look at all the games that were rushed and still charged full price and sucked <coughs> cyberpunk <coughs> and look at games that took their time get what they need to do done grand theft auto 5 red dead redemption 2 um i can't think of any other games that got pushed back I mean, a lot of games get pushed back you know a bit i think Watch Dogs got pushed back a bit which Watch Dogs legions was actually a pretty good game in my opinion i actually enjoyed that one um you know people complain about games getting pushed back and not being released when it should it's like let them take the time to make it better. Let, don't let them rush through the games to make it better. Uh, this one is uh, another funny one. Uh, Nintendo, I'll have a new Switch model, tinted white, and Squidward, our original, <laughs> uh, with the the screen 0.8 inches bigger. <laughs> Tearing today, aren't we? Um, yeah, the screen. I mean, I, 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 I took my other Switch out the dock and looked at it, and I didn't realize how much of the bezels there really is on the old switch but the new switch the OLED is just removing the bezels a bit that's pretty much all that was done to it and it's you know more vibrant um this one the new OLED switch looks great and PS Vita okay <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny to me I don't know <laughs> um so that's pretty much all the uh the memes that I found so far I'm sure there's a whole bunch more out there but just something I wanted to do quickly just to uh get out there that was kind of funny for me uh, but if you want to hear more about the uh, discussions of the OLED Switch, check out the Three Amigos podcast. It's me and two friends of mine that we have together. Uh, we did a video about um, the OLED model. And I did another video about it on this channel as well. So check that out. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos because it is sparking some major discussions in the comments. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying what it is. Uh, but I'm Anthony Tech. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Later.